he's not just an ordinary entrepreneur with just a car company, but he will unleash the Kraken of energy and unleash the Kraken on space. But then he goes over the top with, with, with you know, with space and with energy so that, okay, we're, we're, you know, just like his competition with BID. Yeah, we're competing, we're competing, and then I go next level and I leave. Three other factors yeah. to this. One is to look at the example of Starlink for SpaceX. Right. Um, SpaceX um, was doing 20 launches a year. That was all the commercial commercial launches practically available to them. So there were a bunch of other launches, but there were like Russian military, Chinese military. You're not going to get those launches. Right. right. The 20 launches. But they went to nearly 100 this year. Right. Why? Because they got 80 launches for Starlink. Right. Launching their own satellites, making their own satellites, and then making more money. So they they use their own service in order to speed up both. It's for to speed up the launch capability and lower the cost of the launch capability, and also make factories for satellites and to make factories for Starlink for for, for, uh, for the rockets. Yeah, <laughs> rockets. Right. So they made the whole industry bigger than anything else by being their own customer and then making a monetization model off of that. So that's, again, the same thing to be done with human and bot. If the rest of the world is not ready to use a human and bot, their companies oh, are. Yes, yes. The other thing is that um, Elon does have 54% of SpaceX. Yes. He ha has that capability. So if we imagine right now he has uh, over half of all the satellites up there. When he, he'll launch 150 launches this year, he'll get to like 80% or whatever of all the satellites up there. When he gets the Starship fully reusable and working, 10 times the capacity of Falcon 9, 10 times the uh, launch rate, he will then be able to put up all the satellites that he wants. It will be 100x the capability of the current system. It will be 20% of all communications. He just announced a smaller Starlink version, which would be um, like the, the size of a, of a laptop screen, right? Which is smaller, lower power versus the, the bigger one, lower power. I think 200 bucks instead of like 500 bucks, right? It can go into a backpack to keep high bandwidth communication to wherever you want, want to go. So where could you- And, and, just, and just announced by far, the fastest uh, communication um, system ever right. in terms of communicating between computers uh, on a level that was astronomically higher than anything that's ever been done and cost, what was it? $75,000 a month. A month, yeah. <laughs> for a 10 uh, giga, uh, gigabit per second right. communication link. So, you know, like five, you know, better than the most of the best fiber out there communication link to go anywhere but the interesting one for me is the, is the backpack one. that other one's good and again they show the range right you know, right it is the backpack one that could be stuck onto the back of a tesla bot oh yeah that can be that can go into a you know many of the tesla vehicles yes so we could have high bandwidth communication to all of these things. So if you needed your system to have, I don't know, super accurate GPS, if you need high bandwidth communication on this thing, to, so that, oh, I got it working in the lab. But for Tesla, SpaceX, the entire world is my lab because I always have location. I always have energy. I always have, uh, you know, uh, GPS communication, something like that. So then it, he meshes it all together because he's not just an ordinary entrepreneur with just a car company, right? He is a guy with a space company that will have a virtual monopoly on space, all the Sally capability. And he also has an energy company where he can roll out batteries and solar faster than anyone else. He hasn't, he hasn't unleashed the Kraken on that yet. But he will unleash the Kraken of energy and unleash the Kraken on space. So that means, yes, he's got this ordinary competition where he 
and you know, Bill Gates and Sam Altman are, are fighting. But then he goes over the top yeah. with, with, you know, with space and with energy to say, so that, okay, we're, we're, you know, just like his competition with BID. Yeah, we're competing, we're competing, and then I go next level and I leave. Mean,